Good morning. Good morning, everybody. If you're new to my channel, my name is Tasha Marie TMR. How you doing, baby? All right. If you're new for the first time and you have not yet subscribed, please do so now. Also, please click your uh, notification button. And when you click that button, hit the top option that says all. So therefore, you can always be notified when your girl's dropping another video. And if you've been watching your girl for a while and you just kind of like, mm, sis, go hit that subscribe button. You know you love me. All right, y'all. We on our way to work. It's Friday, you guys. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. It's Friday. Y'all. Your girl geeked up about that. So, y'all, today is the first day of my youngest child. First day of high school. School actually started yesterday, but I couldn't get him registered yesterday because, um, you know, I needed my mortgage paperwork and all that stuff. It showed proof, um, a change address or whatever. So, um, he starts today. Y'all, this morning he gets up and he was like, Ma, can you run me up to the gas station? I was like, for what? I need me a white tee. I was like, boy. Anyway, so I ran him up to the gas station so he can get him a white tee. To wear with his shoes. He got some new shoes. He worked over the summer, you guys, with my brother. Because my brother has his own lawn care business. So he worked over the summer with him. And so, honey, he got him a little change, okay? So tomorrow, I told him I'm going to take him to the um, outlet mall so he can do some school shopping. So he was excited about that because first he was like, Mom, can you, know, can you take me to the mall? And then I was like, how about go, how, you want to go to the outlet mall? Let's go to the outlet mall because they be having He was like, yeah, because they be having it. I, I said it, but I was getting ready to say it, and he cut me off. And he was like, yeah, Mom, because they be having some deals, you know. So we're going to take him to, I'm going to take him to the outlet mall tomorrow, hopefully, um, shoot, hopefully I got time to do that. I'm going to have to get up early and go do that for him. But anyway, all right, y'all, so last night we slept in the house for the first time. Child, we went and got some air mattresses. Baby, why, y'all, we went to Walmart last night, me and my husband, and when we walked into Walmart, I was in there like this here, walking through the door. He was like, what are you doing? I said, child, they be shooting up in here. He was like, shooting? And so I started telling him the story, and he was just like, you know what? This world and went to SHIT. I said, baby, don't you know it? He, he was like, you are serious. They was in there shooting at the Walmart. I said, well, they wasn't doing it here in this state. I said, but, I mean, you know, we didn't, yeah, they doing it, okay? Because a couple years ago, you guys, we had two ladies at a Walmart here. Their video went viral on Facebook. Child, they was in there scrapping about, I don't know what they were scrapping about, y'all, but they was in the, uh, the shampoo and, and hair shampoo and conditioner aisle. The, y'all, they was throwing shampoo, conditioner at each other, and then one of the ladies that was fighting, their their little bitty son, honey, he done took some and bopped the other lady upside the head with it. Child, it was so funny. Um, I mean, they was just rolling all over the aisles, y'all. I was just sitting up here like, okay, y'all, that, okay, anyway. So, yeah, so, yeah, so when we went to Walmart last night, I was like, because I forgot my bulletproof vest. And he was like, what are you doing? I was like, child. <laughs> so, anyway, so, yeah, you guys, we slept in the house last night. We went up there and got us some air mattresses. Because Tony, my husband was like, I'm going to sleep in my house. I said, baby, I know that's right. So, we went and got us some air mattresses. And the kids, they was all excited. Yeah, I'm going to film the empty house tour um, this evening. I'm going I'm to try to upload it either this evening or tomorrow. Um, yeah, so I'm going to film that. And um, he was just like, you know, he just said, baby, we home. I said, I know that's right, baby. We sure is. You know, it took a long time for us to get here. A real long time. We've always talked about, you know, trying to buy a house. 
But you know, we always made excuses, you know, Oh, I, you know, our credit is not good enough. Oh, we ain't got enough money. Oh, you know, and it was so funny because last night, um, my husband said something and then I was like, he said something about some breakdown. I was like, well, child, we're going to have to figure it out because we ain't got, there's no more landlords to call, you know? So luckily, you know, we have, we know a lot of people between the both of us. We know a lot of people that are handymen and stuff like that. And um, I told my husband, I said, you're going to have to get you a pickup truck because every homeowner needs a pickup truck. I said, so that's that's the project for next year. We're going to work on getting him a pickup truck. And, you know, just because it, just if you need to haul some things, because when we went to Walmart last night, y'all, we seen a 65 inch screen TV. It was on sale for like 368. And I was like, oh, we need to get that. And he was like, Tasha, how we gonna move it? My car ain't big enough to move that TV. And I was like, he said, you need a, you know, a pickup truck or something, or maybe a, you know, a bigger, you know, like an SUV or something like that. Y'all my head itching. And, um, and I was like, yeah. He says, and I told him, I said, see, that's why you need to get a pickup truck. Like, so that's our goal for next year. Now we, we won't, you know, he said, I'm not going to get a brand new one, but probably when we get our income taxes back, you know, that's something he's going to invest in. Because I, I told him, I said, I just truly feel when you own a home, you should have a pickup truck for, like, you know, do-it-yourself projects or you need to haul something. Y'all know pickup, when you got a pickup truck, baby, that's money. A pickup truck is instant money, honey. That's hustle right there. But people always moving. People always need something hauled. Whatever. That's when you got a pickup truck, baby. That's instant cash. If you riding around with a pickup truck and you ain't got no money in your pocket, that's because you not no hustler, okay? Um, so I told him so because my father in law he has a pickup truck, so whenever we need something done, we always have to call and ask him. Of course, we pay him or whatever. And I was like, child, you keep that money in your pocket and get you, you know do your own hauling or whatever. So yeah, so we gonna we gonna look into that next year. Um, it's a couple things I want to do with the house. I want to get new carpet throughout. Um, the carpet there, it's not bad, but again, you know, somebody else lived on that carpet, you know? Now, the, the previous owner had it shampooed and, and, um, professionally clean. She showed us receipts at our, at our closing that she had it professionally clean and that's fine. But I just told him the carpet is light. It's like a sandy blonde color. And I just, that's too light for me. I want something a little darker. Um, so, you know, and he was like, well, Tasha, we can't do that right now, you know. <clears throat> I said, yeah, I know. Um, you know, I'm just, I was just throwing out ideals of things that we can do in the near future, you know. Stuff that we can, you know, we get projects that we can, we know that we want to do when we start planning towards it. Like, get prices. So, once we find out, like, how much it would cost to, you know to carpet all the rooms in our home and you know get somebody to come out and give us an estimate then we'll have a goal to be working towards and i feel like that's you should do that with anything in life you know um unfortunately when we was trying to you know buy this house we really didn't know how much money we needed uh, and i'm gonna be honest with y'all I'm, I'm gonna just give it to y'all raw um when you go try to buy a house you know, to be quite honest with you, you should have at least eight thousand dollars saved up in your account. At least, anywhere from six to eight thousand. I I feel like that's a comfortable figure. Six to eight thousand dollars is a very comfortable figure. Um, that way you you can do everything that you need to do. Um, and also, you going to buy a house? Please watch your debt to income ratio. If you know you getting ready to go buy a house, like within the next year, child don't go get no new car. Wait till after you close on your house and then go do start doing all that stuff. Because you have to understand your debt to income ratio is the main factor on seeing if, if a, a bank or a lending um, company is going to finance you. You know, that's, that's, that's the biggest thing. Your debt to income ratio. Okay. And, and of course your credit score, but your debt to income ratio plays, um, a very large part into that. Um, 
What else we gonna talk about real quick, y'all? This traffic get on my nerves. Y'all, what is going on in this city? I remember when I first moved here years ago, child, when, I mean, you could get around this city with no problem. Now, it's just so congested here, and I just don't understand why, because ain't nothing here in Indianapolis, but anyway. <coughs> I got my coffee this morning, y'all. I told my husband, I said, we gotta hurry up and... I need my Keurig over here. Um. Mm. I also want to tell y'all, the cooking videos is on their way back. Yes, y'all. That's all I was waiting on was to get me. Now, the kitchen is not colossal. And y'all see it in the empty home tour. Um, It's not a big colossal kitchen. Um, but it, it's, uh, it's, it's a good size kitchen. It, it's workable for me. And when I tell you this house, this kitchen has so much cabinet space. Like I've never lived in a house before that had so much cabinet space. I told my husband, I said, yeah, we're going to have to go buy more dishes just to put in all these cabinets. I mean, it's a ton of storage space. So I'm excited about that. Oh, shoot. Okay. Let me get over I'm sorry, y'all. The ambulance coming up on the side on the highway. Okay. Oh, Lord. I hate to see ambulance like that because it's always, to me, something bad didn't happen. Um, okay, y'all. What else, what else we going to talk about this morning really quick? <coughs> I saw Straw Mommy Chrissy video last night. Y'all, she clicked the heck out of that video. When she said he changed his man, mind at the last minute, special announcement or something she said. Baby, I thought she was talking about a uh, hubby. I thought he was going to come and help her with, you know, deliver this baby, you know, be there for support. Child, she was talking about the doctor. I said, girl. Well, I mean, you know, at the end of the day, you got to do what you got to do to get the people to come watch your channel. Um... But I thought that was funny. I'm going to be... <laughs> I hate to say this, y'all. You know what? I ain't going to even say it. Because I'm just thinking to myself. I, no, nah, I'm going to say it. I pray that lady don't have no more, any more children. I really do. She's so young. And for the complications that she says she's having now. And then what she, she said. Because she said uh, yesterday when she had Blaze. Um, you know... I guess he was a bigger baby, so it was hard trying to get him through her pelvis. Um, yeah, I just, yeah, I hope she don't have no more kids. It's not, I mean, because you know, any uh, for all the women out here that's watching this video and and has, you know, birth children to the world, y'all know the more kids you have, the more complicated those births can can possibly get. You know, and with all the current issues that she has going on now, I just I don't know if I would want to keep subjecting my body to that. I mean, at the end of the day, I feel like she should have, you know, enough kids. But, I mean, again, y'all, that's her business. If she wants to go have five more, ten more, I mean, that's her body that's going to endure that and have to have them. I just, I just really feel from a medical perspective, I, based off the things that she said in her video yesterday with Blaze and the new baby, Onyx. I was y'all, that is a gorgeous name, Onyx. That is so freaking pretty. Um, I just, you know, I just hope she don't have any more. I think, I hope that this to her would complete her family, you know. I don't know, y'all. Um, okay, so what else we gonna talk about real quick? Y'all, I really didn't get a chance to look at a bunch of um, news stories last night. I did see that Keisha Cole, I think she had her baby yesterday? Or she having it today? Child, I didn't even know Keisha Cole was pregnant. She got her a young tenderoni, though. That, that young man is, what, 26 years old? He's nice looking, too. Young Tenderoni. And if you guys watch Real Housewives of, P of Potomac, I do. Ashley Darby had her baby. And that baby looked just like Michael Darby, her husband. Um, Y'all, if, if you watch Real Housewives of Potomac, you know what I'm talking about. 
girl, I thought Michael was going to never let that girl have a baby because he just kept on, he's so, like, you know, there's a very big age gap between the two. Michael is considerably older than Ashley, but she seems to be in love with him considering all the controversy that, you know, that goes around Michael because, you know, at one time they said Michael was gay or bisexual or something. I don't know, child. But whatever he is, she like it. You know, she's still there. And like I said, they just had a baby. And I think Ashley is just a beautiful girl inside and out. I really love her personality. So, yeah. So, she just had a... They just had a brand new baby. So, congratulations, Ashley. I've been watching y'all since you first came on Real Housewives of Potomac. And I really, really like you. Um, so... Um, Y'all yeah, said it like she gonna watch this video. She might though, okay? She might watch Tasha Marie TMR. Um, so what else is going on, y'all? Not a whole lot of too much else. Y'all, I'm gonna be real honest with you. I was really busy yesterday and your girl was just tired, you know? And when we finally got back from Walmart, which was Walmart, which was about 11 o'clock at night, um, I put them air mattresses up my husband, blow them air mattresses up, and baby, I went to bed because I knew I had to get up in the morning. Um, we was able to get all the utilities and stuff transferred, and uh, my cable and internet won't be installed until Monday. So my kids, they was, honey, they was going through some type of, I don't know, anxiety, shock. I don't know what they was going through. Um, but I, I told them, I said, y'all, it's all right. Like, okay, it's you don't need Wi-Fi all the day on time, you know. So I said, y'all just gonna have to hold off to Monday. Shoot. Um. Okay, y'all. So your girl gonna go and get off here, off of here, cause I need to call my husband real quick, cause he got, he's off today. He actually took vacation, um, yesterday and today, so, and so he's gonna. We need to get a new dryer, cause our dryer, like I. I I don't know if y'all remember from my new subscribers. I've been going through my some issues with my dryer, and y'all, it finally just said, "Uh-uh, I ain't coming on no more." So, um, so we got to get a new dryer. So he said he's gonna go and do that, and um, we saw some furniture about a week ago, week or two ago, and he's gonna go look at that. He might go ahead and, and get it today. I don't know. But uh, I'm going to try to leave work a little early today because uh, I really was trying to get here like around 6 in the morning. But your girl just could not. I mean, I got up, but I just didn't have the motivation. Like, I was tired. So, but I am going to still try to leave like around 2. I ain't going to even lie. I'm going to try to get on up out of here because we just got a lot of stuff that we have to do. And I want to get it all done for Sunday because Sunday, child, I don't want to do anything but rest. Okay? And get ready for the work week. All right, y'all. I'm going to go and get on off of here. I appreciate y'all tuning in and watching your girl. I hope everybody that watches this video has a really good weekend. And again, thank y'all so much for tuning in and rocking with me and supporting me. I really do appreciate you guys. And if you would, please, you guys, share my videos on your social media. Um, I've expressed to you guys before. I, I'm reaching... I'm very close to reaching another milestone. Like, I'm like this close. So, I'm trying to get there. And once I reach it, I'll go ahead and let y'all know what that milestone is. Um, so, if you could just share me, I'd appreciate it. Like I said, if you've been watching for a while and you kind of hot and cold with me, just hit that like button or hit that subscribe button. Okay. All right, y'all. Until the next time, y'all be easy. I'll see y'all in the next video. Remember, y'all. Sub what you love.